Dear soon-to-be college student, I'm so excited for you. You're going to be getting out of your town, or maybe going to another part of town, and you're going to be seeing more people, different people, than the ones you've mostly grown up with all your life. You're going to have more sports and clubs than ever before to choose from in all these people, and maybe you'll find that you enjoy lacrosse, or maybe you want to be a drag queen, or whatever. There's probably a group for that. College has everything. So, as an older sister kind of person and former college student six years ago, I'm writing to you so that you can keep a few things in mind. You are now in charge of your schedule. Unless maybe your college does it differently and they plan everything for you. So this not only means that you get to plan when your classes are, maybe you want to have them all at night, maybe all in the morning, but also you need to plan your meals. There were times when I forgot to eat. There was one night I just had a bunch of strawberries because I'd plan back-to-back stuff, band practice and everything, and then I was like, oh, I need to eat. So go shopping. Make time for shopping. Or if you have a meal plan, which most of you probably will, know that the Freshman 15 is a real thing. You're pretty much getting a buffet every meal, so pace yourself. And speaking of pacing yourself, college is a really big experimentation time. You can find out if 18 credits is too much for you, or maybe 21 credits is just right for you, which is awesome. But most people have like 12. You get to experiment with drugs and alcohol if you want, but please don't go crazy on that. Like, if you want to go to parties every night, good. But you don't need to get absolutely drunk every night. Maybe you can have one drink one night and four the next and then none the next. Parties are about having fun and meeting people, not necessarily getting puking drunk. Whatever you do with all these experiments, don't do it to impress someone else. That's kind of the thing about college. There's so many people coming from all over. No one really cares where you're from unless they get to be your friend. Like, maybe you were the A student all through elementary, middle, and high school, and everyone knew you for it. But when you get to college, you're meeting a bunch of other A students, and so they don't care. Maybe you were the fastest person on the track team. But now there's so many other people that are awesomely fast, no one really cares. So whatever you do, do it for yourself. Like, don't drink just to impress someone else. Don't try to get good grades to impress someone else. It's all for you. You're doing this for you. This is you time. You get to choose the classes you want. You get to choose who you want to be. You really do get to remake yourself. Maybe you were the shy kid in school. Now is your chance to change your name if you want and be a totally different person. I've had a lot of friends who have found safe places in college. Safe to be a nerd. Safe to be gay. Whatever. Because you meet so many people from all over than just your tiny little group that you grew up with that it's now cool or safe and easy. So that's something to look forward to. Let's have one second on fraternities and sororities. They're not all party houses. There are some that are actually for networking. Like there's a business one. There's a professional music one. There's some religious ones as well. And so some of them are just getting together with people that have a similar interest as you. And they're not all expensive and they don't all have houses either. So if you're afraid of looking a certain way, don't worry about it. You're here to do you. If you're worried about losing your high school friends, I would say don't worry about it. The ones that are truly your friends, you'll find ways to keep in contact with. And when you go home for breaks or if you schedule a Skype date or FaceTime, it'll be like you never left. But for some of the other ones, you will lose touch. I did lose some of my friends, but I made so many other friends in college through my sorority and marching band that I didn't, like, I I missed them for maybe a year. And then afterwards, I actually had people that really understood me and looked forward to seeing me and things like that. It's like losing baby teeth. People that were... Decent, good friends growing up, maybe they don't understand the adult you. Or maybe they're not ready for the new and improved you if you decided to not be shy anymore, or if you decided to come out, something like that. And if you do lose contact, maybe you'll get back in touch one day. So don't worry too much about that. And speaking of Skype and FaceTime, maybe think about planning in your parents every now and then, or brothers and sisters. They'd like that. If you only take one thing away from this video, I want it to be this. Don't be constrained by the four-year time limit. What I mean is... If you really want to study abroad in the fall and you, you're like, I need to take Music Theory 1 in the fall because they don't offer it in the spring and I'm going to fall behind. Don't worry about falling behind. Like if you really want to go to Spain and that program doesn't have a Music Theory 1, oh well. You'll just have to take it next fall and maybe you end up taking four and a half years or five years. I like to think the universe will find a way. If this is something you really want to do, go to Spain, then do it. There's scholarships available. You can always take a part-time job or a full-time job over summers. You'll make it work. Also, don't be afraid to change majors. It's kind of weird to ask an 18-year-old or even sometimes 17-year-old to come into school to know what they're going to do for the rest of their life. Me, my sister, and my brother, we all switched majors. 
and we're all doing fine. And on the topic of limiting, don't limit yourself to the college's campus. Most of you probably are going to have like a new town to explore. Like my college was four hours away from my house. So I had not only the college to explore, but like a whole new town, plus like its surroundings of state parks and stuff. So maybe you don't have a car, but that's what Uber is for. Or if you're like my sister and you do go to college in the place where you've lived all your life, then explore it from an adult perspective. Like for her, she was 30 minutes away from our house on a different side of Orlando. So she got to see a different side of Orlando and what all is over there and things like that. So make sure you get out. That's the main point. And if you do the first day of college and decide you really don't like it, or maybe you're only doing it to please your parents, I'd say give it a month before you decide to go home. It's enough time to decide if it really is for you, and if it's not, then go home. College isn't for everyone. Or maybe transfer to a new school, that could make all the difference. So don't be ashamed if you do have to transfer, or you want to transfer, or you want to leave. I hope this letter helped you a little bit in getting ready for college and excited, and knowing kind of what to expect. Everyone says college will be the best time of your life, but it's also good to know how to make it a wonderful time of your life. But I want you to know there is life after college, and there can be other awesome times in your life, so don't think that college is the end. Like, there's lots to look forward to, and you can always explore and party and whatever in adulthood, too. So thanks for listening, and have fun!